Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to add mods to a Foundry server. We will first go over how to add mods on a Foundry server, then we'll go over how to add mods on your Foundry client. First, in the first link in the description, we're going to find the UnFoundry GitHub page. We need this to be able to run the mods and we're going to go ahead and download UnFoundry from this GitHub page. We will then go to the second page, which is the GitHub page for the mod repository where you can find any mods you want to run. Make sure if you're installing this for a server mod that it is not a single player only mod and you can find it by seeing the description of each mod. Once these are both downloaded, we can log into our Bicycle Hosting Games panel and choose our Foundry server. Next, we're gonna choose the stop button to stop the server. We'll then go to the files tab from here, we are going to drag in those files that we just downloaded into our server. Once those are uploaded, we are going to unarchive them by right clicking the .zip file and choosing unarchive. We're going to do them for both of the files that we installed, but you have to do this for each mod that you want to install in the server. Once you've done so, you can go back to the home tab, start your server, and you'll have installed mods on your Foundry server. We will now go over how to add mods on your Foundry client. First, we're going to go to the first link in the description for the UnFoundry GitHub page, and we're going to download UnFoundry from here. We will next go to the second link in the description, which is the GitHub page for the mod repository, and here we're going to download any mod that we want to install on our client. Once downloaded, we're going to go to our Steam library, then we're going to right-click Foundry, Hover Manage, and choose Browse Local Files. This will then pull up your Foundry directory, and we're going to take those downloaded files from earlier, and we're going to drag them into the directory. Once done so, we need to unzip all of the files that we dragged in here. Once these have all been unzipped, you can then delete the .zip files from this folder. Once done so, you can then launch the game, and you will now be playing with mods on your Foundry client. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.